And today we are going to talk about some things that we talked about before, but we're going to practice. So we are going to review articles and we learned about these questions. What do you do and what are you doing? We're going to talk about that very quickly and talk about what do other people do and what are other people doing. We're going to read the U, short U sound, and then we are going to use what we have learned and we are going to talk about some photos. And these are the photos of the week from The Atlantic. All right, so if you have any questions, just please type them in the chat box, say hello, welcome, and let's get started. My name is Hannah. It's nice to meet you, or it's nice to see you. So last stream and the one before that, we were talking about articles. So in English, when we talk about one thing, we always want to include an article. An article is a or an or the. So if we talk about one pencil, this is a, oh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> we talk about one pencil, this is a pencil. One pencil, a pencil. So in English, we cannot say this is pencil. No, we need a pencil. And if one pencil, a pencil. So in English, we cannot say this is pencil. No, we need a pencil. And if your thing starts with A, E, I, O, U, then we say an. So this is an apple. Or this is an elephant. And if it is one thing that I know, then I will use the. So say I have three stars. I have three stars. Two stars are orange and one star is purple. So this is the purple star. So what star is this? This is the purple star. It's one thing I know. Now there are two orange stars. So if I say the orange star, I don't know which one because there are two. I could say the orange stars, there are two. Or I could say, please give me an orange star. So any orange star. This one is okay, and this one is okay too. This is a star, it's an orange star. Okay, so we also learned that some things have no article. No a, uh, no an, and no the. Like water. So let's see, can I get the water? One water, two waters, three waters? No, I cannot count water. So there is no article. This is water. This is water. Um, and if you can think of another example, you can let me know another example. Something you cannot count. Remember, we learned about bread. We say, this is bread. This is bread. Cereal, excellent, cereal. This is cereal. This is cereal. And I don't know why this says cereals. That's not good. <laughs> this is from Walmart. <laughs> this is cereal, right? 
So no article. And neat too. Here. A lot of foods have no article. So this is chicken. This is chicken. Or this is juice. This is juice. But if it has no article, I can talk about the container or how much. Like this is a a cup of water. Right? A cup of water. Or I can say this is a a box a box of cereal. Right? A box of cereal. Or I can say this is Hmm. What a, oh, a, a carton or a box of juice. So, no article for juice, but there's one box. So, a box of juice. All right, so this is what we have been talking about. We learned this last time. So, if you have any questions, please just ask your question. And if you are joining, welcome. Thank you for joining. And please say hello. My name is Hannah. And what is your name? Welcome. Okay. In our first streams, we talked about these two questions. What do you do? What are you doing? So what do you do? This means, what do you do again and again and again and again? It can be your hobby, something you like, or it can be your job. So what do you do? I am a teacher. What do you do? I play outside on the weekend. What do you do every morning? I eat every morning. So, when we answer this question, we just use a subject, who, and a verb. I eat. I play. You go to school. We talk. They sleep. When we use he or she or it, so one person, we need to add s on the verb. <clears throat> what does he do? I will change my question. What does he do? He sleeps. What does he do every day? He cooks food every day. Sleeps. Good. Cooks, sleeps. So we add the S. What does she do every day? Mm, she does homework every day. She does homework every day. So we can also talk about our jobs. What does she do? Mm, she is a teacher. She is a business person, right? She is a waitress. And we say she is. So this question, what do you do? What does she do? It means that something that happens again and again and again and again. And then we had this question, what are you doing? So <clears throat> when we ask this question, we are talking about right now, right now. And here we need the to be verb, am, are or is plus ing on the verb and we can hear in the question what are you doing i am talking you are listening we are learning they are sleeping he is writing she is eating it is going to school. So this is some review, but if you are new, if you are just coming here and you have a question,
and you have a question, please ask your question. So let's do some practice. What are you doing? So if you are listening, you can say hello and type, what are you doing now? We'll say, I, I am talking. Okay. <clears throat> so, I am talking. <clears throat> Watching, great job. So the astronaut says, I am watching. I am watching. And if you are just watching, that is excellent. Thank you. I am watching. And I will say you. You are watching. Good. You are watching. I am drinking water. And you can talk about me. Say she. She is drinking water. She is drinking water. All right. So this is some um, review. We learned about this before. And we are going to practice this now. We are going, we are going, right? I say we are going to practice. Okay, this is a little different. This is something that is coming, right? We are going to practice by looking at some pictures. So before I open the pictures, if you have any questions, just you can type it. You can say, I am asking you for questions. Excellent. So just a quick, quick review. We talk about again and again and again. What do you do? I go to school. What do you do? I search the internet. I play video games. What are you doing now? I am playing a video game. I am listening. I am sitting. I am eating breakfast. Awesome. So, again, if you have a question, please let me know. And let's look at some photos. So, we talked before about how do I know if I can trust something on the internet. How do I know if it is real, it is true, and I, I can know that this is real, this is true, this is good? Well, the first thing is where does it come from? So this is The Atlantic, this is a publication, and I know I can trust The Atlantic. So every week, they post their photos of the week. So we can talk about these. We can talk about these. And we are going to use what we just learned to talk about them. So we are going to ask, what are they? What are they doing? So that is our question now. And I'm just going to write our question up here. Oh. So our question is, what are they doing? So you can see. What are they I'm using yellow because this is red and we cannot see. Maybe I will use blue. <laughs> what are they doing? Okay, so here we have ing, 
so we use ing and we have are so we will use is am or are okay what are they doing this is our question so in the first picture what can we see well I see people I see people and what are they doing well they are wearing they are wearing white clothes okay, these are clothes they're wearing white clothes and he or she he is wearing a mask right goggles these are goggles or a mask and on his face and on his face he is wearing a mask so we have is wearing he is wearing a mask and you're right he is cleaning so we can say they are cleaning they are cleaning and I can see here there they are in Korea and I know because on their clothes this is in Korean so they are in Korea they are cleaning they are wearing white clothes and I can also read <laughs> and see why they are cleaning. So let's read. South Korean soldiers wearing protective gear sanitize a street in front of City Hall after the rapid rise in confirmed cases of the novel coronavirus disease COVID-19 in Daegu, southeast of the capital Seoul, South Korea on March 2nd, 2020. So, I learned some new words here. First, I said they are cleaning. Now we see this word, sanitize. Maybe it's a little small. Sanitize, right? Sanitize means clean. It means you clean so there is no sickness, there are no germs there. So we could say they are sanitizing, they are cleaning, right? And here we said they are wearing white clothes. And here we learn called protective gear. So protect means you stop something so it does not hurt you. So their clothes protect them from getting sick. And they are protecting them from coronavirus or COVID-19. So we can say a lot about this picture, right? So if you are listening, thank you for being here. Uh, maybe there are some new people. Welcome. My name is Hannah. We are talking about this question. What are they doing? So if you have an idea, please just type um, in the chat box, I want to hear your ideas. What do you see? Right? Like, we can talk about this question now. What do you see? Well, I see five people. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. I see five people. And I see... A bicycle I see a bicycle and I see a street I see a street and I see a crosswalk so this here this is a crosswalk we can walk we cross the street on a crosswalk so I see a crosswalk, I see five people, I see, hmm, I can see it is sunny, right? 
How is the weather? Well, I see it is sunny. Good. So let's move on to the next picture. And if you have any questions, please join us. And the astronaut, he is moderating for me. Thank you. If you have anything you want to talk about, you can leave a suggestion. I saw someone wrote grammar rules. So we can talk about grammar rules. This is one important grammar rule, the present tense. So, I'll go. 